Oh, I forgot that I purchased tickets for the museum. So guys, let's do some fun and enter the museum. Oh, wow. So nice. Now you guys must be thinking, why am I inside a museum? Right? Well, that's because I wanted to show you the skeletal system. This is the human skeleton. The skeletal system gives us protection, support and strength. In addition, it also provides locomotion and movement. So now we will be discussing more about these movement in our next section that is skeletal system. A human body is made up of a number of bones and together these bones form a framework that gives shape to our body. But why do we need this framework? It's because our body without a skeleton appears like a jelly that has no shape of its own. And the skeletal system we are going to talk about in detail consists of a framework of bones and a few cartilages. But what are cartilages? Actually, bone and cartilage are specialized connective tissue. Mm, what's the difference between them? If we look at the difference between them, then the bone has a very hard matrix due to calcium salts in it, while the cartilage has a slightly playable matrix due to chondroitin salts. Skeletal system has a significant role in the movement shown by the body. But how? Let me give you some examples. Just imagine chewing food without jaw bones and walking around without limb bones. It is so difficult, right? And these jaw bones and limb bones are all parts of our skeletal system which provide shape and support. Now we know the importance of this system. Let us look at the different parts of this system. In human beings, this system is made up of 206 bones and a few cartilages. It is grouped into two principal divisions, the axial and the appendicular skeleton. So, let's not delay and talk about them one by one. Let's start with axial skeleton. Axial skeleton comprises 80 bones distributed along the main axis of the body. What constitutes the axial skeleton? The skull, vertebral column, sternum and ribs constitute the axial skeleton. So, let's talk about these parts in more detail. The skull is composed of two sets of bones that is cranial and facial. In total, there are 22 bones that comes under the skull. How are these bones arranged? Cranial bones alone are 8 in number. They form a hard protective outer covering called cranium for the brain. While the facial region is made up of 14 skeletal elements which make up our face. In addition, we can also see a single U-shaped bone present at the base of the buccal cavity called hyoid. Each middle ear contains three tiny bones. They are malus, incus and stipes. These are collectively called ear ossicles. The skull region articulates or joins with the superior region of the vertebral column with the help of two occipital condyles. For this reason, the skull is said to be dicondylic. 